どうしようもないってくらい体に力がみなぎってる感じなあ早くやらせろよジュディ・ハン、The first Korean character and the first true villainess or anti-villainesses of the Street Fighterverse, the sadistic criminal counterpart to Chun Li, an SIN enforcer. She has risen from her dark, mysterious past to become one of the most ruthless characters from the Street Fighter universe. In today's episode, insights about her concept and design from her creators at Cap, and some revealing facts you might not know about Juri Han herself. The origins of Juri Han. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. The development team of Super Street Fighter 4 was instructed to create a female Korean character in response to many Korean fans requesting a Korean character in Street Fighter, as SNK and Namco have done in their respective fighting game franchises. Yoshinori Ono, ex Capcom senior staff member, said the team had planned to add a Korean character when Street Fighter 2 became popular in Korea, but Korean government regulations made it impossible to create such a character. It is unclear if the explanation is accurate because of the other competitors' fighting game, released shortly after Street Fighter 2. Like SNK's Fatal Fury and Namco's Tekken, had Korean characters. The designers experimented with 400 to 500 variations of how the character might look. A number of concept designs for Jury were produced, including an overweight model and one that included mixed martial arts. Jury was designed to be an evil, sexy character. To make Jury a character people will either love or hate, the creators gave her a strong, unusual personality. To keep her storyline connected to the characters in Street Fighter 4, Juri was designed as a member of SIN, including the Feng Shui engine. Using the Feng Shui engine, it gave her a strong connection with SIN. Initially, it was planned to put the engine in her abdomen, like Setha's Tandon engine, but since that would be unattractive, the engine was placed in her eye. Her left eye was damaged long ago by Shadowlu henchmen, when in an ambush to kidnap her father, she was shot in the eye and lost the eye forever. SIN implanted the Feng Shui engine in her eye socket, amplifying her fighting ability. Early on, it was suggested that she be involved with the wrong people in a tragic love story. Yoshinori Ono, However, quickly reacted with, No way, that's not good. She can't be a good girl. Surprise everybody and make her an evil character. A spider was also chosen as Jury's trademark. As a result, her top has a spiderweb design, and she is known as Spider. As many species are known for eating their mates, she is likened to the behavior and personality of a female spider. No character in the Street Fighter series had ever practiced Taekwondo. So they figured it would be a great opportunity to introduce Juri to the art. Her outfit was designed so that her silhouette would resemble traditional Taekwondo attire. However, the designers added bold colors and a unique design to make her stand out from the rest of the cast. In some ways, Juri is like Chun Li's dark mirror image. They had both lost loved ones to M. Bison and, thereafter, vowed revenge against him. Chun Li is focused on punishing the dictator with a sense of justice, whereas Juri is willing to hurt anybody and everybody who stands between her and her revenge. Interestingly, another character inspired by Chun Li, Jun Li Milliam from Star Gladiator, shares more traits with Juri, such as the same theme of revenge and retribution with a butterfly motif. The purple dudo, a form of Chinese bra on her chest, is topped with eight straps that meet at her back, forming a spider like pattern. In addition to her long, baggy sweatpants and purple tights, she wears long, fingerless gloves. She painted her fingernails and toenails bright pink. Towards the top of her head, you'll notice that her dark hair has two horn like bangs that appear to be fastened with pink ribbons. Her feet are wrapped with Taekwondo foot wraps. Her Street Fighter V costume is a pink and purple collared black suit with a spider pattern back, with a black high neck sleeveless top underneath, black fingerless gloves with pink designs. The pants from her cat suit have black inlines with dark purple and pink. On her left eye, she also wears a black eye patch with a magenta pattern. The first alternate costume features a blue green winter jacket, pink and white pants, black knee high boots, and matching gloves. In this costume, she does not wear her eye patch. As it was worn before Bison ripped out the Feng Shui engine. Similarly to her primary outfit from the Super Street Fighter 4, her second costume has a white dudo and black trousers with pink and white outlines, matching black Taekwondo ankle wraps on her feet. Her hair is down and her bangs are pink. While Ryu strives for meaning with each fight, Juri is driven more by vengeance. 
selfishness, and ruthlessness, and usually prefers to inflict pain on her enemies. A very hot temper is also characteristic of hers, as she can easily snap when she is retaliated against without warning. As far as jury is concerned, combat is her passion, to the point that she becomes irritated when it is denied to her. When Rashid refused to fight her seriously, jury said that he could just die if he did. Juri Han is also very cunning, as she is not above leaving her partners to further her own agenda. Minat described Juri as being hysterical and depressed, thereby implying her wiles and cruelty are just a cover for how broken she is on the inside. While she may be ruthless and vengeful, she still retains a semblance of honor. A young boy was left alive in the crossfire while she was on her mission in the Super Street Fighter 4 OVA. Similarly, Juri views Evil Ryu as a particularly vile example of ruthlessness, which also contradicts her statements regarding other Anatsuken users. As well as being hypocritical, Juri feels the need to mask her pain. Tammy and DiCapri suffer under Bison's might, but she mocks their suffering as if she had suffered a similar hurt as a child, but then always returns to help them in their times of need. In addition to calling Vega a pervert, Juri also takes pleasure in hurting others. I think this provides enough evidence to support Minat's claim. This story emerges from the Udon comics, Super Street Fighter Volume 1, New Generation. In the bonus stage section titled, who is Juri? We can start in the early years of Juri Han's younger years, as a student of Taekwondo in Korea. Her trainer calls her name Juri as she is being trained. He exclaims, Your posture is improper, as her challenger proceeds to attack Juri Han in a sweeping leg motion, leaving her defeated on the floor. In the beginnings, we can see that Juri was having trouble with her training. Even worse, her parents looked to be very formal and strict with her child. While on the floor, Juri Han's mother calls her out on her training and I quote, Your training is very expensive, daughter. Why should we spend so much money on Taekwondo if you're not able to show us improvement? Is this how you thank us? Juri Han proceeds to ask for forgiveness, but her apologies mean nothing to her mother. As she states, Apologies only mean something if you intend to change. How tragic is knowing that your mother batters you psychologically? Her father did not pay attention to her training as well. During her training, he was mostly talking on his cell phone. His wife exclaims, Stop talking on the phone, will you? Did you even see the match? And he states, I don't have time for this, Anae. Do what you think is right. The irresponsibility of her parents makes you understand and appreciate Juri Han's development during the years. As they're talking at the family table, Juri's father speaks and says, This shadow loot case will require me to fly overseas. I leave tomorrow morning quite early. So I expect you both to be ready at 5 a.m. sharp. We'll go to the airport together. Juri Hung, not understanding, asks, Uh, what's a shadow loot? A great starter in this series. As we can see the first time Yuri Han has heard of what later her enemies would be. Her mother says, It's not important, Juri. Just do as your father says. Juri's father states, and I quote, It's okay, dear. I'll explain a bit. The Shadaloo is a crime organization, Juri. They have many agents all over the world. I'm one of the prosecutors who are gathering evidence with the help of Interpol so we can put these criminals in jail for a long time. Juri replies, it sounds dangerous, in which her father replies, it may be, but it's important, and it's also my duty. In that same way, it is your duty to train hard and not embarrass your family. Do you understand? Her replying, yes, Aboji, which in Korean is more like father, in a more respectful way. So for use when introducing them or addressing them to be polite or when talking about them to others. Not knowing much about this situation, Juri understands that her father's line of work is a very dangerous one. As the meal ends, he tells Juri, you are my daughter and I expect great things from you. Juri Han's parents create this pressure on Juri to exceed and be the best at everything, especially in her martial arts. Most parents might seem to see this as a tough love, but in my opinion, that's just an excuse for weak parenting. Clearly, her parents pressure her to an extent where love is not the main focus in their household, which is another insight of her further development as a human being. 
It's early in the morning, and traffic to the airport seems to be slow, based on the mounts of snow falling down the sky. Out of nowhere, an explosion occurred in front of their car, their vehicle suddenly being shot by a group of mercenaries. As Yuri's father exclaims, keep your head down. She has been shot in the head and left there as her parents were taken away, never to be seen again. One hour into her transition, she was in critical condition. There were two dead and one missing. Loss of blood, all horrific news reports about the incident. Juri Han was taken into emergency surgery immediately. They work relentlessly to operate her as fast as possible. As for one week on her recovery, she was stable. During this incident, she lost her left eye. They begin the funeral preparations for her mother, and the government would not negotiate with the Shadowloo terrorists. In her first week, the list of tragedies just keeps getting bigger and bigger. All of this happening at her 15 years of age. After one month of recovery, she gained insight and was addressed with some psychological concerns. As her father's ransom was not paid, they decided to kill her father on camera. This traumatic chain of events led her to take a nihilist approach on her own life. Five months into her change, we can see Jury without one eye, hungry to learn her craft. She states to her trainer, Shut up, you old fool. No excuses, no whining. You will serve me as you served my parents. You will show me everything you know about Taekwondo fighting forms. We will train night and day, non-stop until I am satisfied that my body is a weapon of death. Old Juri Han is no more. We are seeing the rice and evilness in her being. She is out for vengeance and destruction. Later in her life, she manages to unite with SIN, the Shadowloo Intimidation Network, the weapons division of the criminal organization of the Shadowloo. During Street Fighter IV, the leader and CEO of SIN was Seth, who was likely also constructed as an SIN weapons project. Many people believed at first that SIN was really the remains of a fouling Shadowloo, and not just a division. They developed a weapon called the Feng Shui Engine, which was planted in Juri's eye socket. This gives Juri her ultimate abilities and power. Juri, being asked by Seth, How do you feel? She replies, Oh, it's incredible. It feels like my body is coursing with limitless power. So, let me loose. Let's get one with this. Her tragedy gave her the roots to be evil. While other people overcome these adversities in other ways, she overcomes hers with pure destruction. Seth is an artificial intelligence designed to inhabit synthetic humanoid bodies that possesses a tandem engine. The tandem engine is a powerful device developed by SIN to be used in the spare bodies of N Bison. Seth was intended to be a body like that, subsequently utilizing the tandem engine. The machine takes the form of a large sphere, adorned with the yin yang design. Appropriate to its intention, the device is located in the abdomen of these puppets and grants them a remarkable amount of power. This device is extremely advanced form of technology, appears to both artificially generate and harness chi in a mechanical manner, and can gather chi in turn, as evidenced by the energy that emanates from Seth's hands when he uses it. Even though Seth has served as both a potential new replacement body for Bison, and as the CEO of Shadowloo's SIN weapons division, Seth has personally vowed not to be a mere puppet of Bison, but as his own personal self-awareness, as he seeks to eliminate Bison and take over Shadowloo themselves for their own personal plans of world domination. SIN, Shadowloo Intimidation Network, is the weapons division of the criminal organization of Shadowloo. During Street Fighter IV, the leader and CEO of SIN was South, who was likely also constructed as an SIN weapons project. Many people believed at first that SIN was really the remains of the fallen Shadowloo, and not just a division. Seth gets help from Juri Han to carry out his endeavors. Juri Han is a South Korean Taekwondo martial artist. Her personality is vengeful, selfish, and ruthless. 
She's extremely sadistic, liking to inflict pain on her foes, and she's also extremely hot-tempered. Juri can easily lose her temper when she is struck back in retaliation, without warning. Juri Han uses a weapon called the Feng Shui Engine. Planted in Juri's eye socket, this device gives her ultimate power and abilities. This instrument was given by Seth. It starts in the Udon comics, Street Fighter 2, Volume 2, Hyper Fighting, with Juri looking over the highway bridge. Between you and me, Seth, violence and chaos is all I have left. I focus my mind and body, my whole being on training, so that when given the opportunity to pay back Bison, I'd be more than capable of doing just that. I was so obsessed with becoming a powerful fighter that I wasn't just doing it to settle a score with Bison anymore. I was doing it for me. But with him dying during that tournament, in the middle of the ocean somewhere, that chance was stolen from me. Where did that leave me? What could I do with the drive for my existence taken away? Yuri Han is really troubled by the fact that Bison died in that tournament. Her whole purpose in life was to avenge her parents. She seems troubled, but at the same time, at attacking and ambushing a fleet of cars. While on the attack, she says, Turns out I still had one purpose left, fighting. I became so obsessed with becoming a more powerful fighter, that as much as I was doing it all to settle a score with Bison, I was also doing it for me. Apparently, I had developed a taste for delivering pain and mayhem, and Bison's death didn't stop my cravings for it. I discovered that this hammer was too good at smashing things, to be stashed away in a toolbox just because it lost its snail. Smashing other things, anything was pretty fulfilling too. Like I said, this is all I have now. You give me missions where I can cause violence and chaos, and I'll happily fulfill those missions. It is a good arrangement. My only fear now is having that arrangement come to an end. So when I see something that could bring our fun times to an abrupt halt, I get a little nervous. As the conversation with Seth begins, something like this. That one of the secret society's insignias. Isn't it a dangerous game biting the hand that feeds you? Your concerns are duly noted, Jury. But discovering more about the Illuminated Friends is of great importance to SIN when Vega and Balrog cut SIN off from Shadowloo in their bids for legitimacy. A void was left that was filled by the society's backing and resources. That is all the society is, a resource that will be expendable after its purpose has been served. Though I will temporarily allow the society to believe that SIN is under its direction, I will not be a slave to a new master. When the time is right, I will need to know what society's agenda is. The scope of its influence and its exploitable weaknesses. I believe what is in this case will be the key. All of a sudden, with an explosion, M. Bison appears and says, Seth, what disappointing hubris. Surely you knew that the society guards its secrets religiously, and that digging where you should not would hold grave consequences. Jury, in shock, is confused about Bison's survival. Seth, in awe, says, Bison? Impossible, your death was confirmed. Bison replies, The society works in mysterious ways. You should know better than anyone that death is not necessarily a permanent condition. As Seth replies, I am grateful. It pained me not to be the one who sent you into the abyss. If I must kill you a hundred times before I am finally rid of you, I will do so each time with pleasure. After your peons are disposed of, I will demonstrate how I have become so much more than you ever were. Seth gets destroyed by Negro. As Seth lies on the floor, Bison looks at Jury and says, The society has also taken an interest in you, Jury. It needs people like you. But Lord Gill needs to know where your loyalty lies, now that your current employer is out of the equation. Out of nowhere, Jury kicks Seth and says, is this a good enough answer? If the society is the organization pulling all the strings, that is something I want to be a part of. Say the word and I'll finish this puppet for you myself. And Bison answers, Wise decision. We will keep Seth alive for the time being. 
he may prove useful as he has before. You will be contacted soon. I'm glad the society and I can count on your loyalty. Jury replies, Don't worry about a thing, Mr. Bison. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, I've got your- What did you like about this episode? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. By the way, if you would like to donate or simply get us a coffee, we would like to inform you that sure you can at ko-fi.com slash streetfighterverse. We are grateful for every single one of you. You guys make this possible. And for that, we thank you. Our new Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.